watch my turns. Just keep talking to me. I'm not going to answer you. How the bike's looking? Yeah, everything else is looking good. Yeah, it's all good. Might have to go in this guy's driveway to straighten it up a little. young whippersnappers not a sweat on them well that's just hardly fair isn't it not a sweat on them and look at me working my butt to the bone it's because we do this every day now <laughs> Hey, good morning everyone. Today is solar panel installation. We are going to attempt to put solar panels up on top. We've got three 325 watts, I guess that would be, that we're going to be putting up here. They're huge. They are huge. Oh almost fell so once we get this started we turn it around for you here these are the ones that we're going to be putting up here we can't really get the gist of it but this is it and today I'm going to be screwing them down to the roof. You want to talk about being scared and nervous? I am. Because I sure don't want to drill into the top of this roof. Everybody says it's okay. Yeah, let's see what happens. We're going to set the GoPro up and I know everybody in there, German Shepherd, has filmed on how to put solar up. So here's another one. We'll catch you guys on the installation. Installing brackets. You getting it, Earl? I'm getting it. Oh. Have fun. I want to be on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give a smile. So what you working on there? Are you working on the um, inverter? Yes. Taking the old smaller one out and putting the new bigger, better one in? Yes. 
cool. Now I drink. <laughs> we gotta take a picture of the supervisor. No. <laughs> We've got the supervisor yeah. right here. There you go. Supervisor. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> and then we've got Bubba here making connectors for ready? the batteries. Yes, I am doing the battery connectors. This little thing right here is the cat's <laughs> meow. We got this off of Amazon. And no, we are not being sponsored. Unfortunately. Good squish. There we go. Pretty nice. Looks good, babe. Yep. We have the other supervisor right here. Really? She's sleeping on the job. You haven't worked all much for your company? And then... There's our slick new battery bank, four six volt batteries, 920 amp hours of power. Well, hello everyone. Today we are going to go through our solar that we have installed on our 2017 Sandpiper and we will start with the essentials pin tape measure it's all you need if you're a guy and you know what you're doing with the uh, tools so, this moment, we will shinny our donkey up the ladder, and we'll show you what we have up there. So we went down through the top. I've removed this uh, cap so that y'all could see. Went down through the stink pipe and ran it back to the solar. We have three, 325 watts. And we got them for 40 cents a watt from my son his company advanced electrical and solar we got them screwed down there on all four corners I had to do all four corners on these here these last ones because the roof is such an angle I couldn't get right there they wouldn't lay down flat but this one here, I got one, two, three, four on each side. Okay, now that we're on the ground, we're going to take you underneath where the inverter and a charge controller and the J box is, the junction box. Um, all of that is underneath the bathroom where the heater and hot water tank and all the pipes that run down into the, the shower, the gray tank for the shower and the sink and the holding tank for the toilet. As you can see, these wires right here, right here, these two wires, they're the ones that are coming down off the roof for the solar. And they run over into here, into the charge controller underneath. The J box or or junction box, whatever you want to call it, and that is that there has the GFI microwave, 
the general, which is the whole house, and the uh, refrigerator. We all ha we have those on a separate junction box. Um, we cannot if we're on solar, we cannot run the air conditioning or the fireplace. Uh, it just they just draw too much power. So we had to pull what we wanted to run, such as the general, which runs all of the power outlets to where we can charge cell phones, computers, watch TV off of solar. The microwave, we can run the microwave, but it's like, it drains it pretty fast. The refrigerator runs off of it. The GFIs, always want to have those going because you never know when the wife is going to be doing some kind of something in the bathroom and drop something in the shower or brushing her teeth and drop a hair blower, whatever, into the sink and you get the picture. So we've got a 3000 watt inverter and we have a 150, 100 TR battery controller. These are all, um, they're all AIMS. AIMS, yeah, AIMS. And um, I don't know what else y'all want to, you know, want to see. All right, now that we've got all that done, let's take you up here and show you Piper's heart off the solar. The batteries, whatever you want to call it. I'll switch you around here. Here we go. We have eight six volt batteries, 320. Oh, wait a minute. It might be 200, and I'm going to have to read here. 230 amp hours we have. We started out with the, uh, the four gray ones and decided, you know what? Bigger's better or go home, right? So we went and got four more and put them in there. Doctored everything up. Made it look decent. I hope. I do have one problem, though, and I probably shouldn't say anything, but I do. I'm going to this one right here. That one right there. I'm not sure why, but it leaks every now and then. And I don't know if this is cracked, this cap, or what. I, I don't know. Every now and then I'll come out here and it's wet. So um, I'm going to have to check that someday when I can see really good. Um, but that's the heart of the whole situation. Okay, this here is what we have. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything on there or not. But it shows the battery, battery, how full they are. That's just the battery. Shows you how full they are. Right now we're plugged in. So we're... If you know anything about this stuff here, feel free to know what it says. All I know is it's putting out some power for us because we're plugged in and it works real sweet when we're not plugged into shore power and we prefer not to be that way. I hope you guys learnt a lot today because I know as much as I know you guys are probably just shaking your head going what was that the knowledge that came out of my brain that was just shot out of my mouth you guys know probably so much more about solar now than you will ever know and I'm glad that I could teach you guys. <laughs> What's so funny, Earl? Uh, I don't know nothing about solar. I don't.
don't know anything about electrical. I can change a light bulb, but barely. But when it comes down to it, I'm glad I had my son from Advanced Solar, Electrical and Solar, Advanced Electrical and Solar. That's his company in San Diego. He does residential solar. So if you're ever in there, we will leave you a link. I don't know, how do y'all do it? Down below, up top, on the side, over there, I don't know. But we'll leave you a link to his uh, company's name and what he does. So, thanks for coming around with me and letting me show you our solar system. And I know, like I said before, there's probably so much knowledge coming out that you guys can't handle it. <laughs> Whatever. Later.